Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you are from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are worthy of all our praise, O God. We thank you. Hallelujah for your blood, O Lord Jesus. Thank you for covering us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for delivering us. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, have your way on this Facebook Live. I thank you for moving. Thank you for healing. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for setting free. Thank you for strengthening your people, O God. Lord God, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Lord, you are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, God, the first and the last, O oh God. It's through you that we live and we move and have our very being, O oh God. Lord, we're nothing without you, but we can do all things through you that strengthen us, O oh God. We thank you for your comfort, your love, your strength, your forgiveness, O oh God. Your grace and mercy, O oh God, that we see new day by day. Lord, have your way like never before. We thank you for beginning the good work and you shall perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to make our call and election sure. Give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church, O oh God, unto your people. Lord, baptize us with blazing fire of your Holy Spirit right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, take us down in the dungeons deep, O oh God. Reveal mysteries unto us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for moving right now. Father God, we come against every assignment of the enemy right now. Every power, every principality, every throne, every dominion, God. You've given us power of all the powers of the enemy. We operate in that place right now. For we are seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places, O oh God. And we thank you that you've given us power of all the powers of the enemy. And we just render them helpless. We thank you right now that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father God, I thank you for greater faith. We believe you beyond what we hear, what we see, what we feel, what we think. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, touch right now. Holy Ghost, fire your fall right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy of all the praise, O oh God. Father God, touch every man, woman, boy, girl, Lord God. Thank you for saving loved ones right now. Thank you for delivering, God. Thank you for healing sick bodies, God. We come against this COVID-19 in the mighty name of Jesus. By your stripes, we are healed, God. And we speak healing over your people right now. We thank you, God, for touching them, O oh God, with your healing hand, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord God. We give you all the praise. All the honor and the glory. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Bishop Ter Ter Terrence Campbell of Global Life Changing Ministries International. The Lord just dropped something on my heart. Amen. To share with the people. Glory to God. We are living in times, saints of God, where we need a word from God. Amen. God is speaking. God is saying something. Glory to God. And now is not the time for us to be overwhelmed by what we see, what we hear, hear and what we think. Praise God. The word of God is sure. Glory to God. And the enemy trying to make, amen, the prophetic words of the prophets seem like, amen, they miss God. But I'm here as a man of God, as a prophet of the Most High God, amen, that God cannot lie. Glory to God. God's ways are way beyond our finding out. And if God, amen, say he's going to do something, he will perform his word. Praise God. I want to look at Romans, amen, uh, the 10th chapter, looking at the 13th verse. It said, "Who for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise God. Thank God that there's power in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Whosoever, anybody that calls upon him, amen, that's willing to turn their life over to the Lord, the Lord will save them, praise God, amen. No one is beyond, amen, salvation, praise God, amen. God is calling us to that place, saints of God, to search our hearts, amen, to search our souls, amen. No more church as usual, praise God. So many of us go to church, amen, but we never commit our lives to Jesus, glory to God. God is more, amen, than uh, a fairy tale, praise God, uh, a story in the Bible, amen. 
He's real. Amen. And God wants to be head of your life. Praise God. He is our creator. Amen. He's more real than we are. Amen. Uh, glory to God. Second uh, Corinthians, the fourth chapter, verses 17 and 18 says, uh, For a light affliction which are uh, but for a moment worketh for us a more exceeding eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are temporal. That means subject to change at any time. Praise God. We are living in a time, saints of God, where things are changing drastically. Amen. Glory to God. And if we're not rooted and grounded in God, we'll be swept away. So many men and, and people's hearts are fainting. Glory to God in this day and hour. Glory to God. During this pandemic, glory to God. Then the losses of jobs. Praise God. But I'm, I'm a witness that he is Jehovah Jireh. Amen. He's a provider. Glory to God. God will meet your every need. Praise God. If you can just trust him. Amen. He made a promise to us that he would never leave us nor forsake us. And he wants us, amen, to find refuge in him. Glory to God. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into and are saved. Praise God. There's safety in the arms of God, saints of God. Hallelujah. So many times we try to do things on our own and we mess things up. Glory to God. But God is looking for a people who's hungry for him. He's looking for somebody to say, Lord, here am I. Use me. Praise God. God is not concerned about your past. Amen. God has a glorious future that he wants to take you into, saints of God. In spite of your hangups, in spite of your mess ups, praise God. God wants to use you. Praise God. You are somebody. Listen here. The devil never attacked nobody. He attacks somebody because you have a powerful calling on your life and God wants to use you saints of God hallelujah you may be the Esther to your family you may be the Joseph to your family I'm talking about been sold out been talked about been thrown away been the black sheep praise God but God has a purpose and a plan for your life praise God hallelujah saints of God hallelujah if you could only see what God has in store for you you'd be praising God right now hallelujah glory to God God has something great amen Hear me. No matter what you're going through, look for the good in everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. It says this. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's a promise. That's a promise. Glory to God. Hear me. You just can't call up on him without him responding. Amen. When you call up on him in faith, praise God. That's the key, saints of God. God will answer your prayer. Glory to God. As the old cliche say, he, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Praise God. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Praise God. And I don't know about you. Amen. I realize and recognize more and more each and every day. I can't live without him. Praise God. I need God in my life. Praise God. And I want to be a part of whatever God's doing. Amen. When God do something for you, saints of God, it should inspire you to do something for God. Praise God. And, tell, and let me tell you this. If you truly say, amen, I'm talking about filled with the spirit of God. Amen. And you have the love of God on the inside. You would not be comfortable seeing your brother and sister in bondage. Praise God. Praise God. It's time for us to get up off our do nothing seat and rise up, amen, in prayer. Glory to God. That's the key. First of all, you commit yourself to God, amen. Because before God wants to change anybody else, God wants to change you, amen, to make you a witness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Of his goodness, of his grace, of his mercy. Praise God. And hear me. You will come across people, amen. Yeah, I remember you that want to try to bring up your past. Praise God. Hear me. Saints of God, when God, amen, forgives you of your past, amen, it's no longer yours. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So whenever somebody else bring it up, it's theirs. Glory to God. Why? Because the Bible said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. God has a glorious plan for your life. Amen. And you just need to trust him. Praise God. Let's go on to the 14th verse of the Romans, the 10th chapter. It goes and says, how then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? How can you call upon him if you don't believe in him? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So understand this. So 
To believe in him, you got to experience his love. You got to have confidence. You got to have faith in him. You got to trust him. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the truth of the matter, saints of God, God has brought us through so much. Glory to God. And God's track record is perfect. Amen. He's excellent in everything he does. And I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes God is not going to do what you think he should do or how you think he should do. Come on here. God is God. And the Bible said, who has been his counselor? Glory to God. Nobody counsels. So God, he is infinite in his wisdom and his understanding. Praise God. When God decides to do something, he don't have to go and ask anybody, can he give that, get their approval? Glory to God. Why? Because that's what makes him God. Even, get this, when there's all kind of hell breaking loose or chaos in your life, understand this, that God is still in control. Why? Because God allows things hear me, to happen to get our attention. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because so many times, get this, we have to be shaken, amen, shaken up to realize that we can't make it without God. Glory to God. So many times, saints of God, we get off track because we try to do what we want to do instead of doing what God has called us to do. Let me help someone right here. You will never have peace until you do what God has called you to do. You will never have peace. This world, the peace of this world is superficial. It's not real. Glory to God. But when you have peace, glory to God, that comes from God because he is the prince of peace. Glory to God. He'll give you a peace that surpasses your understanding. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't even know why you happy, but this joy that you have on the inside, you realize that it didn't come from something on the outside. It came from Almighty God. Praise God. And God, hear me, saints of God, wants to take you to a higher level. Glory to God. And that's why the devil is attacking you after one thing after the other. Glory to God. Hitting you from the, behind the back. Hitting you from all places, saints of God. Why? Because you've been counted worthy. Get this. To pass the test. And hear me. God has anointed you. Glory to God. To destroy you. Glory to God. He anointed you to be a warrior. God didn't call you to be jelly back. God didn't call you to be weak. God called you to be strong. Glory to God. And the Bible said this. To them that do know their God, they shall be strong. Glory to God. Not in our own strength, but we are strong in the Lord in the, in the power of His might. Glory to God. And they shall do exploits, supernatural feats. Get this. God needs you. He needs a vessel that He wants to work through. Praise God. And God has nominated you. God has chosen you. Glory to God. When everybody else gave up on you, when everybody tried to throw in a towel for you, God has chosen you. Come on here for such a time as this. Glory to God. And the devil's upset. I feel the Holy Ghost. The devil's upset. The devil's mad. Why? Because he did everything to try to stop you from getting to this place. But tell your neighbor, I'm here now. Hallelujah. And the best is yet to come. Understand. Get this. The best. Come on here. You haven't seen nothing yet. And the devil is furious and wondering why. I did this. I attacked him with this. But they still standing. I attacked him with this. But they still standing. But tell your neighbor, say, by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And if God be for me, who can be against Hallelujah. That's a good place to praise God, praise God right there. Why? Because you should have given up a long time ago. But tell your neighbor, giving up eight is not in me. Hallelujah. It's not my portion. Why? Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I trust God. Come on here. Don't know how God going to do it, but tell your neighbor, he's going to make a way for me. Don't know when God going to do it, but God shall perform it. Hallelujah. Why? Because in the midst of me waiting on God, tell your neighbor, God is building my character. He's building my character. He's making me better. He's making me wiser. He's making me stronger. My confidence is coming back. Glory to God. I went through some things, some storms in my life that tried to shake me. Glory to God. But tell me, I got my bounce back. I got my joy back. I'm getting my fire back. I'm getting my passion back. Glory to God. I would have given up a long time ago. But by his grace, he has kept me. He held me close and I can't let him go. Come on here. When God has been good to you, glory to God. You ought to hold on to him and never let him go. Praise God. And God wants to do great things to you. Tell your neighbor he wants to make you a witness. He wants to make you a witness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on to your faith, saints of God. Your faith, get this, is powerful. Your faith is precious. Why? Because get this, when the Apostle Paul, get this, he, before he, he was uh, taken to be with the Lord, get this, he said, for I have fought the good fight of faith. Get this, our faith, our fight is not with each other. Our fight is with, come on here, against the enemy, because the enemy is a deceiver. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to steal your faith. Get this, if he 
steal your faith, you lose your strength. Come on here. The more you build yourself upon your most holy faith, praying and studying in the word of God, this, your life is transformed and you move from glory, hallelujah, to the Holy Ghost, to glory, hallelujah. God has greater heights. God has greater depths where he's trying to take you. And the enemy is trying to frustrate you, but God is allowing the frustration to happen in this, to push you into your purpose, to push you into your calling, to put you back into your prayer closet. Why? Because when you pray, tell your neighbor, something has to happen. Why? Because I'm a child of the most high God. Hallelujah. I'm the child of a king. God. No matter what the enemy say, hallelujah, I am victorious. I am what God says I am. You got to prophesy over yourself. You got to believe beyond what you see in the natural. Why? Because everything that happened in the natural will always be contrary to your faith. Your faith this is not where you are. Your faith is ahead of you. Join you to it. And you hold on to your faith. Glory to God. The enemy. The enemy knows if he can steal your faith, he's stolen your strength. Hallelujah. And that's why, saints of God, you got to press your way. Hallelujah. 14 verse says, how should they call upon him in whom they believe not? If we don't believe in him, we're not going to call on him. Our faith has to be totally in God. Hear me. Because he's sovereign. He's almighty, saints of God. He holds the world in the palm of his hand. Glory to God. Get this. This is the Bible said it's man that, 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 that plans, that, that makes the plans, but God ordered his steps. Come on here. God knows the way that we should take. Come on here. He knows our thoughts before we even think it. Come on. Get this. Get this. When we trust him to be, get this, Lord of, of our lives, get this, everything works together for the good. Understand this. I didn't say that everything was good. I said everything works together for the good. Get this. God, in this earth realm, we have to have what is called sodium chloride. Sodium, which is a deadly chemical. Chloride, which is another deadly chemical. But when they are combined, they make salt. Something that the body needs. Get this. God would take the foolish thing to confound the wise, to use the craziest thing, get this, that seemed like that would have taken you under to make you stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The very thing that you thought that you would lose your mind over, he would give you such a peace to carry you through it. Hallelujah. And I don't know about y'all. Glory to God. The darkest time in my life, get this, he was such a light, glory to God, guiding me along the way to show me that, come on here, that even though you're going through this right now, you will appreciate me for this later. Glory to God, that's for somebody right there that's in a dark place. Hear me, you don't understand what's happening, you don't understand what's going on, you don't understand why God has allowed it, but tell your neighbor, he's prepared me for something that I just can't handle right now. Understand this, that when God get through with you, you're going to understand why. That old saying that we are understanding better by and by is a very true saying, saints of God. Hallelujah. Because so many times we can't see the full picture until the, the, all, all the puzzles have been put in this proper place. Glory to God. God is a miracle working God. Let me finish reading the 14th verse. It said, how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? We need a man or woman of God that will preach to our hearing. That will preach to our hearing. Because it goes on and says this. In the 15th verse, how shall they preach except they've been sent? Get this. We have to be careful of listening to people giving us man's doctrine. I want to hear what God is saying. Glory to God. And how can I hear what God is saying? That person must be speaking out of the unction of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We need men and women of God, hear me, that's not caught up, hear me, in, 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 in theology. Sure, we need theology, which is the study of God. But hear me, we need to make sure we have neology, where we get down on our knees and get in prayer for divine revelation, divine impartation, from the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. We need a word from heaven. Glory to God right now to shift 
the atmosphere. Glory to God. To turn our situations around. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So many people are caught up in houses and land and cars. and But come on, saints of God. Now is the time where we must get this. Make sure our hearts are pure before God. Make sure that our motives are right. Make sure that we're doing and we're busy about our father's business. Glory to God. So many times people say that, glory to God, uh, people, uh, they've been saying it for the longest that the Lord is coming back. And they begin to mock, glory to God, when men of God just talking to me, saints of God, any moment the Lord could crack the sky, hear me. The trumpet shall sound. Everyone going to hear me and everyone going to see it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But everybody not going back when he raptured his bride. Hallelujah. And I don't know about y'all. I want to make sure my house is in order. Lord, that means whatever somebody has done to me, I let them go. I forgive them. And I pray. I ask you to forgive me if I've done anything to offend you. Praise God. Because saints of God, I want to make sure I get there. I don't want to spend all this time in church and still don't make it to heaven. God forbid. Lord, help me in the house. Hallelujah. We have to prepare our hearts. And I don't want to be like the, the foolish servant, get this, that says, my master delays his coming. Glory to God. And he just get lax and get lazy. And that's what's happening with many people in the church, saints of God. Hallelujah. This is the time that we wake up. We wake and we arise from the sleep and make sure we have all in our limbs. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Make sure that you are praying. Make sure you're fasting. Amen. Make sure you love your enemy. Make sure you're doing good to those that despitefully use you. Make sure you, you're doing good to the poor. Come on here. God has called all of us to do something. Glory to God. And so many times we're so focused on looking at what somebody else is doing. Saints of God, hear me. I'm doing, I got too much to do. Glory to God. To focus on what other folk ain't doing. Come on here. And judging other people. Because I'm trying to make sure, oh, glory to God, that my house is in order and that my life is pleasing to God. Hallelujah. No, don't have time to play church. Glory to God. Get this. Religion can't do anything for you except put you in bondage. Come on here. We need a relationship with the true and living God. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that God is not dead. He's yet alive. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he wants to embrace you. He wants you to come to him. Glory to God. Regardless of what you're going through, hear me. God has already opened a door, a turnaround for you, saints of God. He's waiting on you. Glory to God. It says, how can we, how can we hear without a preacher? And how can they preach except they've been sent? Get this. So when they are sent by God, get this. God has equipped them. God has anointed them. And God has ordained them. Everyone hear me. You have so many people that have titles, but they don't have the deeds. They don't have the works. They don't have the anointing. Come on here. Why? Because they operate in the flesh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus told the disciples to go and tarry until they are endued with power from on high. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I don't want to just be in a place where they sing good and they preach good. I want to be in a place where the Spirit of God is moving. I want to be in a place where the preacher will tell me when I'm right, tell me when I'm wrong. Come on here. I don't want the preacher to hold back because afraid. Come on here. I'm not going to give my tithes. The devil is a liar, saints of God. Hallelujah. Come on here because the church that God has placed on our lives for God we live. Oh, glory to God. And for God we die. Hallelujah. See, we got to make our face like fit and stop worrying about it. Come on, people's feelings. Glory to God. Why? Because the Bible said they shall know the truth and the truth shall set them free. Come on here. I would to be in a place where a preacher won't allow me to get by and get away with living in sin where he loved me enough. Come on here. To tell me the truth whether I like it or not. Why? Because he loved me. He wants to see me do better. Better. Why? Because God has something greater. Saints of God, God has better for you. Hallelujah. He has greater for you. Hallelujah. Let's shift on, uh, finish reading the scripture. How can we hear without a preacher? How can it preach except he be sent? Glory to God. It says this, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings. Glory to God. Hear me. God is not about condemnation. Glory to God. He's about conviction. Hallelujah. Condemnation will beat the person that's already down, that's already whooped. Come on here. And make them feel worthless and without value, without purpose. But saints of God, conviction is the love of God going down deep and 
picking that person up, glory to God, and inspiring that person to rise up to be something better. Glory to God. And I challenge you today to give your all to God, to be the best that God has called you to be. And see, so many times, get this, we think of ourselves as doing good, and I'm just doing doing whatever I can, and God knows my heart, saints of God, when we know that we there's more in us. There's more required of us, saints of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We need a fresh anointing. We need God to restore our passion. Glory to God. Because some of our fire has dwindled. Some of our fire has gone out. I'm reminded of the widow woman that was at Zarephath when, when uh, Elijah goes down there, amen, by the gate. He sees her, uh, Elijah, he sees her uh, 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 picking up sticks by the gate. And he tells her, go and fetch me uh, some water that I may drink. Get this. And she turns without question, without rebuttal, goes and leaves to get him some water. Get this during a time of drought. Hallelujah. Didn't question. But then he says this. And while you're going, fix me a cake that I may eat. And that's when she said, as the Lord God liveth, all I have is a little meal in the barrel, a little oil in the cruise. And I'm going to go make this cake that me and my son may eat it and die. And the man of God said this, fear not. He said this. You just do like I tell you. Go make me a cake, then make a cake for you and your son. And he gave a prophetic word. Get this. God opened that little that she had. Why? Get this. So many times people are not reaping a harvest because they're eating their seed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible said little becomes much when it's placed in the hands of God. Understand this. God don't have no physical hands, but he has men and women of God. Amen. That when you pour a soul into Get this, that seed that you plant becomes a harvest. Supernatural release. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God wants to release things. Get this, even in the time of drought, God will bring increase. Glory to God. And the Bible said this, that the man of God, her and her son, did eat many days until the Lord sent rain upon the earth. During a time of drought, the meal barrel didn't run empty. The cruise didn't run empty. The all, cruise of all. Get this. Hear me. God has food. Come on here. That he's providing for your house. He has provision that he's providing for your house. That's a good place to praise God. So many times, get this. We want to tell God how to do it. We want to tell God when to do it and who to use. Get this. God can use anyone to do anything that he has in store for you. Glory to God. But God needs you to trust it. Glory to God. He wants you to step out in faith. He wants you to obey his word, saints of God. Glory to God. Getting back to this. It said, how beautiful are the, pe the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings. Glory to God. True men and women of God, get this. They preach the word and they preach it in love. Glory to God. Why? Because the Bible said, whom God has shown mercy ought to show mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Some people need that hard preaching. Why? Because that's what they need. But the Bible, but there's a saying that you can draw more flies with honey, with honey than you can vinegar. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it's saying the goodness of the Lord is what draws men to repentance. Glory to God. It's the love of God. The Bible says, no man cometh unto the Father except the Spirit draw him. Glory to God. And hear me, saints of God is drawing us. He's calling us closer today. Amen. Get this. Because the more we are attached to the things of the world, the more we separate it from God. Hallelujah. If we're watching more TV than praying and more and, and, and then studying, that means that TV is our God. Come on here. God wants our undivided attention, saints of God. Hallelujah. Get this, because the more we pray and we talk to the Lord, the more we become like him. The more we spend time with God, we know his ways. Come on here. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to know his ways, know his voice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's go on to the 16th verse. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who believe our report? Get this. Everyone hear me. In this day and time, the enemy is trying to block the people's hearing. Glory to God. It's trying to discredit the prophets of God, trying to discredit men of God, saying they missed God, this and that. Hear me. That's what the world wants you to believe. 
But hear me. God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. But what God says, he shall make it good. And I realize this. The Bible said we know in part and prophesy in part. And so many times, get this, when God gives us a prophetic word, he don't give us all, everything concerning that prophecy. He just gives us a small part. Get this. Why? Because we can't handle the whole prophecy. Oh, glory to God. Why? Because it's so intricate. It has so many details. And, that's, and the Lord spoke to me yesterday. He said this word to me, and I heard it, but I never really understood the depth of it. He said, we, he said you were living in convoluted times. And I'm saying, what are you saying, God? What are you saying? And I, the way he said it, I understood it but, with my spirit, but I said, let me get the uh, Webster Dictionary. And when I looked it up in the Webster Dictionary, it said this, twisted in times of un, uh, hard to understand. I said, whoa. And it said this, glory to God. Times when it's so twisted and hard for us to understand. Get this. And so as I was going, and I, let, me, let me give you the story. My, my baby girl, I'll come back to that about convoluted times where we're talking about. I was going to, to the trash can. The Lord spoke to me. He said, I told you you're living in convoluted times. He's, and he shows me this, 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 uh, a steer, you know, like a, a, a rodeo bucking steer. How the, uh, the, uh, cowboy gets on it and tries to ride the, 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 the steer to break the bull, a buck, buck and bull. And he said, no man can tame me as powerful. He said, no man can tame me. No man can control me. He said, I'm God. And he said, I know what I'm doing. Glory to God. And he said this. He said, during this time of convoluted times, he said, there's going to be sudden changes, sudden shifts. Everyone hear me? That if you don't hold on by faith, you're going to miss me. God. He said, if you don't hold on by faith, I'm going to lose you. Glory to God. Saints of God, this is a word for someone right here. He said, you got to hold on and trust me. I said, yes, Lord. He said, I didn't lie to you. I can't lie. He said, but there's certain things I have to allow to transpire. Get this. For the greater good of all men. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then he said this, uh, 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 bring this back around. My wife, my, my baby girl, my wife had ordered some chairs. And so yesterday we was taking the chairs out. My baby girl said, Dad, I want to help you. We have to put the chairs together, the bar stools together. And so she sees the box. The box was empty. So she gets in the box. She said, Dad, can you cover me? So I close it up so she can play in the box. But then she gets out of the box and goes into the room and gets her earbuds and get into the box. So she tried to listen to her, her cell phone video and stuff with her earbuds. Get this. And so she knows that her sister come and her sister said, where's Angel? And we didn't say anything. I knew she was in the box. Get this. So Angel just quiet, hiding. And all of a sudden, Angel jumps up. Surprise! Jumps out the box. Get this. But she forgets that her earbuds are still in the box. Somebody get this in a minute. So my wife didn't know that her earbuds was in the box. I didn't know her earbuds was in the box. So she takes, my wife began to put trash in the box. And so my job, husband, I take the trash out. Well, as to this morning we was driving, my wife had to go some places and stuff. And so she and just said, my earbuds were in the box. I said, oh, I threw them in the trash. So Later on, I go back to the dumpster where I put them in there, take the trash bag out the box, get this, the earbuds were still in the box. So I get the earbuds out the box. Everyone hear me. Let, me. let me give you the interpretation now. Get this. The enemy wants us to get in the box during this time and to hide. Glory to God. She took her earbuds, get this, which symbolized her faith. Her Earbuds, get this, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So earbud, a buddy to your hearing is faith. Glory to God. So the more we hear, it builds our faith. The more we hear about God and it stimulates, it stimulates our faith. Get this. So I retrieved her earbuds that was thrown in the trash, that was in a box. And this is what the Lord said to me. There are so many of my people whose faith has been shaken because they have put themselves in a box. And get this, and because of the trash 
They can no longer hear what I'm saying. Their mind has been overloaded because of the things of this world. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this is what he said to me. He said, you, the father, going and getting the earbuds and retrieving the earbuds in the midst of the trash. God said this. He said, I'm anointing men and women of God that's going to speak to the people's hearing, even amongst the trash, to get this, to bring their faith back to me. Oh, glory to God. To restore their faith back to me. To restore their hearing back to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In spite of what you're going through, saints of God, you are victorious. In spite of what the enemy has thrown at you, you have the victory. Glory to God. Everyone hear me. No need to be afraid of the devil when the devil really is afraid of you. Glory to God. He's afraid of you coming into your God-created purpose. Glory to God. God wants you, get this, to rise up mighty prayer warriors and to walk in who he's called you to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been through everything here, but you've made it. Glory to God. And many of us, get this, are still facing things. But get this. And get this. The best thing about that you're facing it is that you're going through it. Hear me. There's a time that God ordains for us to go through. And get this. There's a time that God has ordained for us to come out. And I want you to understand this. I'm finna come out. I'm coming out. And I'm coming out with a victory. I'm coming out on fire. I'm coming out with a greater passion. I'm coming out with a greater hunger. I'm coming out with a greater th thirst for God. Hallelujah. Why? Because in this season, it's vital, saints of God, that we protect our hearing. Glory to God. Don't discard your faith. You hold on to your faith. Because it has great and precious promises. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Understand this. Your faith will always cause you, hear me, when you trust in God, to rise above the situation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your faith will cause you, hear me, supernaturally, to walk in places in the spirit, hear me, when you are at a different place in the natural. Hallelujah. And God just needs you to trust him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The doctor said this. You went to the doctor and the doctor gave you a negative report. Hear me. He's just practicing medicine. I believe the report of the Lord. Glory to God. You got to speak over yourself. You got to prophesy over yourself. Glory to God. I hear what you said, doctor, but I don't receive it. I believe the report of God, the Lord. Come on here. And so you start doing everything, lining yourself up with God. And let me say this. 99.9% percent of sickness and diseases come through unforgiveness. Glory to God. When we release others, we free ourselves. Glory to God. When we forgive others, what they've done to us. Glory to God. Hear me. Because, hear me, God allowed them to do something to you. Get this. To provoke you to come up in Him. To push you into your purpose. To push you into that calling. Glory to God. And so get this. You still stuck on what they've done to you. They done gone on about their lives and you still stuck. Get this. And God is saying, how long are you going to hold on to that? And the reason why, let me share this with you. The reason why unforgiveness is a sin, because when we hold on to unforgiveness, we're saying, God, you ain't God and you can't heal me. Glory to God. But I'm going to tell you this. He is Jehovah. He's Lord of all, almighty, all powerful. Glory to God. And I'm telling you, saints of God. When you forgive, the love of God will come into your heart and get this, those things that you thought you couldn't get over, some kind of way God will turn it to make it work for your good. And you realize and you can appreciate God for allowing it to happen to you. Why? Because it made you wiser. It made you better. It made you stronger. Glory to God. And it increased your faith. Get this, that no matter what God allows, get this, he has already purposed you to win. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stop crying over spilled milk. Just clean it up. Glory to God. Go get you another glass. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time for us to move forward. And it's time for us to march in power. It's time for us to stand strong in Almighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's people counting on you, saints of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The enemy has so many people deceived. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's so important that we, as the men and women of God, we stay in a posture of prayer. Of hearing what God is saying. Let me share this with you. 
it's best and it's, it's, it's very important to be in a place where there's a prophetic voice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because you don't need somebody just to preach to you. You need somebody that can prophesy and tell you where God wants to take you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That sees beyond where you are. That sees where God wants to take you. Come on here. Glory to God. That calls you to get, get grab a hold of faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me share this with you. A prophet, a priest, a priest. This is what a priest does. A pre priest goes to uh, God on behalf of the people. But a prophet goes to the people on behalf of God. Hallelujah. And saints of God, we need men and women of God that will say, thus says the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know about y'all. I want change in my life. I want victory. Hallelujah. And I want you to, I want to tell you something. Glory to God. This type of anointing that's on men of God in this last, in, uh, last day and hour. Hallelujah. Men and women of God. Hear me. It's going to be life changing. It's, it's, wreck, it's, it's just, just wrecking havoc on, on the enemy's kingdom. But get this. It's not easy. Glory to God. We ostracize, criticize, ridicule. Come on here. And sometimes you, you, you scandalize. Sometimes you, uh, 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 uh pushed away, shunned. Hear me. But I, I'd rather be right with God than to be right with man. Glory to God. Cause you can have the whole church standing up, but if God is sitting down, you ain't got nobody. But if God is standing up and the whole church standing down, he's more than the whole world for you. Glory to God. Saints of God, hold on to your faith. Glory to God. Don't let the devil steal your faith. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Come on, lift your hands right where you are. Lord, we bless you. We praise you for this word on today. I thank you for encouraging your people. I thank you for just opening doors that no man can close and closing doors that no man can open. Father, we just say yes to your will. We surrender our hearts, our minds, our souls to you right now. We give you all of us, oh God. Forgive us where we sin and fell short of your glory. Lord, I thank you right now for pouring out your love upon your people. I thank you for healing broken hearts. And Father, we just release those who have wronged us right now. We ask you to forgive us of our sins as we forgive others right now. Father, touch right now. I thank you for our point of your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, draw us closer. Draw us closer. Draw us closer than ever, Lord God. I thank you for giving us wisdom and understanding of your word, God. In this day and time, God, we trust you like never before. And we lean not into our own understanding. But in all our ways, we acknowledge you. And you shall direct our path. Lord, I thank you for ordering our steps. I thank you for covering our mind, oh God, with peace. And the calm assurance that we have in you, God. Hallelujah. Knowing that all is well. And the devil is still defeated. Thank you, Lord, for saving our loved ones. Thank you for saving souls even on this Facebook Live right now. As we recommit ourselves to you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We come back to the heart of worship, God. You are, hallelujah, the very reward of worship. And we just long to be in your presence, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. Father God, in spite of what has happened, we trust you. And we thank you that everything now is working together for our good. Hallelujah. Which brings forth peaceful fruits of righteousness. Be exalted. Be glorified. And I will last forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Saints of God, God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Hold on. Stand strong. Keep marching on in victory. God has a great plan for your life. Hear me. And you haven't seen nothing yet. And the devil's afraid. Glory to God. That today you've come into your purpose. Glory to God. Now walk in it. Glory to God. Stand strong in the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the power of his might. God bless you and keep his prayer. Amen.